Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another video and today's topic is hardware versus interface. Does a dedicated hardware recording chain make a difference to the sound of your recording compared to the sound of the stock mic pre's in your interface? And if there is a difference, how much of a difference does it make? While I'm speaking, I'm going to be switching the audio back and forth between the hardware and my interface so that you can hear what this sounds like. I'm speaking into the Warm Audio WA47 Junior. My interface is the Universal Audio Apollo X8P and my hardware chain, uh, this is the chain that I've been using for the last couple of years, is the Neve 88 RLB Mic Pre into my BAE 500C, which is an 1176 in a 500 series, and into my Warm Audio EQP WA, which is a Poltec clone EQ by Warm Audio. Now, just so you know, the EQ section of the EQP WA is bypassed and the gain reduction on the 500C is off. So there is no EQ and there is no gain reduction happening. This is just my vocal running through all the transformers, the tubes, op amps, and all the other cool stuff that's in hardware. And this concludes the condenser microphone portion of this test. Now, let's switch over to the other microphone. Now, I am on my SM7B for the dynamic microphone portion of this test. I should go ahead and let you know that in order to properly do this test, I have the microphone plugged into my radial JS2 mic splitter in order to properly split the signal to my hardware chain and to my interface. Now, I want you all to know that everyone's hardware chain is going to sound different depending on what gear is in the chain and depending on what microphone is hooked up to that chain. So there could be some recording chains that sound more transparent than mine. There could be some that sound more colorful than mine, depending on what's in it. I just want to use my gear to help give a general idea of hardware versus interface. So you can get an idea of what this could potentially sound like, depending on what you get if you are looking to build your own recording chain. And with that, this is the end of the video. Hope you found this video helpful. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you're able to hear the difference. Thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you don't. Hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more content from me. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.